I've mentioned now a couple of times this idea of image styles. The fact that you can manipulate the size and scaling of these images to fit the different needs of your site. Image styles in Drupal are amazing. They take your original and then make it into whatever size and scale you need and they actually save that version of the file so you're not always rendering that on the fly. Go ahead and click on configuration and we're going to create two image styles here. Scroll down on the right and under the media tab you'll see image styles. We want to create an image style for our table that we just set up and we want to create an image style for the next view we're going to create which is a grid of logos. So let's click add image style and let's call this upcoming events 150 by 150. That's a good size. You'll also notice that Drupal is filling out the machine name for us. I almost always put the pixel sizes in my image style names just so I remember what they are later on. Click create new style. So here you have the original 800 by 600 and the edited version which we of course haven't done anything to yet. Let's select a new effect and in this one let's call it scale and crop. Now you need to be careful with this one because sometimes it scales and crops where you don't want it cutting off somebody's head or something like that. You could choose resize or rotate and scale and all kinds of different things here. Drupal gives you a lot of options here. We'll just choose one for now. Scale and crop. Click add and we're going to scale all of our logos to 150 by 150. Remember, you don't ever want to make a width or a height larger than the original image since then it will pixelate it. Click Add Effect. So we have our new image style that makes our two balloons scaled and cropped. Awesome. Let's create another one. Click on Image Styles here in the breadcrumb again. Let's add an image style and let's call this Photo Gallery of Logos. Click New Style. Now again this can be any kind of photo gallery. We're going to use our event logos because that's the only real images we have. But you can do this for any image in any field in any content type. Once again let's select a new effect of Scale and Crop. And this time, let's do it with 300 by 300 and click Add Effect. And we get a similar look. So that's all we need to do. Now when we start adding new images to our site, Drupal is going to automatically create versions of our images for each image style we have and store them on our site. So that's image styles. In the next video, we'll see how that works.